Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again. So The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead are crossing over. Now I have an article here from comicbook.com and this is what it says. Finally, after years of denying it, The Walking Dead creator has just announced the unthinkable. The Walking Dead will cross over with Fear the Walking Dead. At The Walking Dead's panel at New York Comic Con, Robert Kirkman confirmed the news to fans. All joking aside, I'm really excited, Kirkman said. I get that question all the time. I think that we've finally gotten to a place with Fear the Walking Dead where it has its own identity. There are two Walking Dead shows. I'm not going to name them, but there are two. There is one character that is going to go from one show that will go from one show and appear in the other show. That I will not name. Are we going to see a Walking Dead character's backstory play out in Fear the Walking Dead? Or are we going to see a Fear the Walking Dead character show up in The Walking Dead? What could happen? Or is it going to be different than that? Uh, in the three years since Fear the Walking Dead premiered, the creative team behind the zombie franchise has continued denying a potential crossover between the two shows. Uh, it has also been hard to envision a crossover for a while because Fear Took has been a couple years behind The Walking Dead in terms of story. There is no telling at this point which show the crossover will take place in or which character will go from one show to the other. So very interesting. I'm actually looking forward to it. The only thing I'm stuck on is uh, the timeline. You know, I don't know exactly how far ahead The Walking Dead is ahead of Fear the Walking Dead. Now, at the end of The Walking Dead, Season 8, uh, we do know there is going to be a time jump. How big, I don't know. I think at least two years, I believe. I could be wrong. So now we do know that The Walking Dead will be at least maybe two years ahead of Fear the Walking Dead. Now, we also don't know when this crossover is going to take place. I have heard people say maybe next year, but I don't know. That's not confirmed. But, um, you know, I do think that the whole timeline is going to be a bit tricky right now. Um, now, as for who it could be, I have heard people say maybe Madison, you know, maybe she's Alpha. Um, but I think that's kind of a little strange and awkward, you know, if it is her. Because, yes, Alicia just left. Nick is following her. It's, it would seem kind of strange if she just said, well, you know what, my kids just left me, so I'm going to travel across the country. Maybe my kids will find me one day. If not, you know, best of luck to them. I don't know, that just seems kind of, kind of strange, kind of awkward. But who knows, I mean, we do have, what, three episodes left? So who knows, maybe things will uh, change, I don't know. But, um, you know, that would be interesting. Um, you know, it'd be a huge time jump. You know, we'd have to see how Madison becomes Madison and how she becomes Alpha. And how does she meet the rest of the Whisperers? How does she form them? How does she meet Beta? You know, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that would have to be filled in, you know, in that huge timeline. Now, as for other characters, um, you know, we do have Abraham. He was or is was uh, from around that area. I believe he was in Houston. I could be wrong, but I believe he was in Texas. So Fear the Walking Dead is pretty close to that region there. Now, maybe they could do something kind of like a little backstory, like maybe what happened to Abraham before he met Eugene, because we know he met Eugene, and then he ended up meeting Rosita too. So maybe it could show what happens before all that, maybe? I don't know. Uh, who else? You know, Eugene is also from that area as well. But I really can't see Eugene filming The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. I think that'd be a lot of filming. Same thing with Rosita as well. But that's just my guess. I could be wrong. Uh, who else could it be? Uh, we also have Morales. He did leave, you know, mid to end of season one. You know, he took off. He disappeared. And we haven't heard anything from him since. Um, I mean, wouldn't be surprised. That'd be pretty cool, I guess. Um, you know, quite possibly, maybe Morales. Um, I'm trying to think, who else would it be? Or could it be? Um, you know, who knows where Nick and Alicia are going? Um, you know, maybe Nick. I don't know. Maybe Alicia loses him. And I, I don't know. I just can't figure out how it would go down how it would be you know 
anybody from Fear the Walking Dead coming over to The Walking Dead, how that would work. Um, I don't know. I just can't see, you know, Alicia finds out Nick is tailing her and following her. Maybe she loses him somehow. But then I can't just see Nick saying, oh, well, she lost me. Screw it. Let's go to Atlanta. I don't know. Just just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. And, um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it will be interesting. Um, but I think it would actually be pretty cool if it was Madison, you know, if she is alpha or not, you know, there are plenty of theories and stuff like that, that Madison is related to maybe Andrea. Um, I believe Kim Dickens said in an interview that she might be related to Daryl Dixon or the Dixon family. Um, you know, what else? Uh, we do know Rick Grimes does have a brother or did have a brother. Um, so who knows? Maybe they could change up the story a little bit. Maybe instead of Rick having a, bro a brother, maybe he has a sister. I don't know. Just all sorts of different ideas. All sorts of different theories that, um, that it could be. But I have no idea. Um, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I would actually die if it... Um, you know, since Robert Kirkman is a troll, he's a big troll, I would absolutely die if it was Alicia going over to The Walking Dead, meeting up with her friend Enid. How funny would that be? I would absolutely die if that would, if that's what it is. Oh, look. Hey, I'm off to go find a friend. You know, Alicia travels across the country and she meets up with her friend Enid. Rick, Enid... Alicia, love triangle. Oh my God, I would die. That would be hilarious if that's what it was. But, you know, other than that, um, you know, like I said, your guess is as good as mine on who it could be. You know, uh, I did check one last thing. I did check um, Michael Cudlitz and uh, Morales' IMDb pages. And both of them are filming... One's filming like a short movie, and another is filming another, another movie. Both are coming out in 2017, and they have nothing posted after. You know, there's no other movies, TV shows listed for 2018, 2019, nothing like that. Um, that's what they have. Both of them have movies coming out in 2017, and that's it. So, I don't know. Maybe if it is next year could be one of them i don't know since uh right now you know both their calendars look wide open but who knows i mean your guess is good as mine so anyways um hope you guys like this video if you did hit that thumbs up button that'd be awesome remember feel free to subscribe to my channel uh follow me on social media links are in the description box below and uh leave me your thoughts and comments who do you guys think it's going to be do you think it's someone from the walking dead heading to fear or what do you think it's someone from Fia heading to The Walking Dead? Do you think it's Morales? Do you think it's going to be an Abraham backstory? Do you think um, Madison is Alpha? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, stick around. More videos are on the way. And I will see you guys next time.